I'm here to tell you a story about my first time riding a camel. I came to America in 1989 and my parents decided that when I was 17 it was time for me to travel to Israel. I signed up for a really great adventure of uh, traveling on a camel to a desert, baking a pita with a Bedouin and experience the beauty of the desert. I realized that the group that was supposed to go that day canceled and I was a traveler of one along with a Bedouin and a camel. I paid $59.99 and I'm going to go with that journey. We were going towards the border of Egypt and it was getting a little bit eerie but I thought to myself that's all right it's going to be a great adventure. The Bedouin tied the camel to something that was a tree about 30 years ago and I was chatting away and talking and distracting him and as we sat down to start baking our pitas which was part of their itinerary suddenly the Bedouin turned white and started screaming and cursing in Arabic. I turned around and realized the camel is gone. After getting a lot of facts about how the Bedouin will die because uh, the other Bedouins will kill him and how it is all my fault, I was told to just wait at the site as the Bedouin is gonna run around and try to find the camel. This was quite interesting because all around me were uh, soldiers from Egypt that were there to guard the border. So as I was left alone to guard the site and pitas that we baked, um, suddenly a revelation. About 40 minutes later, a camel came back. It came back back to that site because it was hungry for more pitas. So I started with this piercing scream calling the Bedouin to come back because I was holding her to a pita that was being eaten by a camel at that time. And the Bedouin got the gist of it. He ran back to the camp and started kissing and hugging the camel. I was very upset because I was the one that deserved a kiss and a hug. Without much joy, the Bedouin was ready to return me back to the camp where he got me from. American teenagers is not what they like.